guys, it's uh, Jason here again from Cricket Store Online and uh, in this video I'm talking about the new Gun and Moore uh, Players Edition Icon Cricket Bats. Um, two players who are endorsing the Icon Players Bats is Ross Taylor and Jonathan Trott. Um, and the bats are quite different from each other. Uh, this is the Ross uh, Taylor that I'm holding up. You can have a look there. Ross Taylor. And um, so just to mention some of the design features, remember this is um, Gun and Moore original limited edition willow. Uh, Gun and Moore don't have a player's edition willow. The, this alley willow is their best willow and it's the willow that they give to their professional players. <clears throat> so what you're looking at is a oval handle down the bottom, round at the top, uh, three, cork, three cork inserts, the bat's a short handle and they weigh around uh, 2 pounds 11 ounces, right? Um, <clears throat> so the toe on this, you've obviously got the normal GM um, sort of uh, no color or colorless uh, toe guard. Um, edge wise, you're looking at about 30, maybe 35 millimeters. Let me get the tape out for you. So, edge wise, on the Ross Taylor, you're looking at about 37, 38 millimeters. So, that's just a quick look at that. Face, we're looking at quite a few grains on this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10 is a pretty common number that I'm finding in the top of the line willow these days. It's very hard to come across the 15 or 20 grain willows anymore. Um, the back of the bat, you're looking at uh, kind of traditional icon styling with a concave spine. Um, and then profile, you're looking at the sweet spot right around here. So let me let you hear the ping. Just absolute fantastic ping. And just a beautiful, beautiful bat. Um, so that's just a good look at that. Willow grade, like I said, it's original limited edition willow. Um, weight range is 211 and obviously price range you're looking at about um, between 400 and 450 pounds or about uh, 700 US dollars. Um, <clears throat> just to have a look at some of the shape features, um, I would say the closest thing that you're going to find in the lower grades um, to the player's edition is the Gun and More 808 Plus, um, the Icon 808 Plus, the uh, not regular 909, the regular original, reg regular uh, original LE has got relatively small edges, the profile is not quite there and the meat and sound and ping is not quite there as well. So let me let you hear the ping on the players. That's a pretty nice ping on that. And then this is the 808 Plus. It's got a bit of a nice, soft, springy sort of feel to it. And the reason why I say this is the uh, Epic Original, um, actually Epic Original LE. Yeah, that is quite a lot, quite a lot harder. So the 505 Plus and the, and the 808 Plus have a very similar ping to the Player's Edition, whereas the original, the 909, the original LE, the 707, 606, got that sort of harder pressed pingy sound, so the bat might take a while longer to open up. And then just while we're on that as well, this is the um, Jonathan Trot icon, and obviously all the same fantastic features as the, um, as the other icon, but you'll see here two completely different shapes. Um, they're, they're nothing alike. Uh, this one has no concaving on the spine, whereas this one has a bunch. Um, and sweet spots, <clears throat> I would say, on the uh, Jonathan Trot might be a little bit lower, but the Ross Taylor has a bit of a thicker toe. So that's just some of the features. The Jonathan Trot edge size is a little bit smaller. You're looking at 33 millimeter edges. Um, uh, and also about an ounce lighter, so that's sort of what you do. So about 210 on the Jonathan Trot, 210 on the Ross Taylor. And that's just a couple of the features for you. Also, very minimal bowing. You'll see on these players' bats that there's really not much bow at all. So that's just another look at the GM players' icon bats. Have a look at some of my other videos. I'll be doing the Luna and the Epic um, and the Flare, the Shane Watson as well. So thanks for watching. And I'll catch up with you guys again soon. Cheers.